Sometimes you rely on others and often they let you down. Such was the case on our journey towards equipping you with high-tech gear. The good news is it led us to something great, dare I say fantastic even. Welcome to the Symbiote. Symbiote is not just another piece of gear brought to you by the night hooligans of Arcane. No, this is a revolution in a new era of our company and our company's commitment to you. Thermal and night vision technology levels the playing field and offers you capabilities that tyrants in power already possess. Remember, if they have it, we have it. The Symbiote brings further versatility to all of your different night loadouts. In the purest form, the Symbiote is a bridge that creates the symbiotic relationship between many dissimilar units on the market. How it does this is it allows adjustment on the X, Y, and Z axes. Pupillary distance adjustments can also be made via our thumb nuts and the slots inside of the arms, which seamlessly accommodate all eyeball space types, save for you single-eyed savages. For you, simply grab either one of our dovetails depending on your unit, slap it onto your unit, slide it into your G24 or KDX mount, and you will be centered up and ready for ocular shenanigans. Honestly, if any of you are actual Cyclops, I, I kinda wanna know about it, so shoot me an email. Our product engineers knocked this one out of the park, and what we landed on was the only bridge that exists for you, the armed and prepared citizen that allows full adjustment in all directions. The Symbiote can take almost any helmet mounted night vision or thermal unit and allow for perfect eye alignment no matter how different the two units are. The versatility, adjustability designed into the Symbiote makes it the one-stop shop for almost any combination of two units you can imagine. For example, you could run two PBS-14s in a panoramic configuration or a single PBS-14. You could run dual thermal, or you could run a dual band system like this one here. There's so many possibilities with the Symbiote that I can't even remotely come close to talking about them all here. So I'll focus on my favorite setups that check my boxes. My all time favorite combo is a dual band system with the RH25 V2 and the Viper 14 with boom slang glass. This combo not only has the widest field of view possible with the boom slang glass, it's got the best thermal sensor in a helmet-mounted thermal that's readily available to civilians today. The RH25 V2 has a sub-15 millikelvin sensor, while the Viper 14 has 50-degree glass for the widest field of view and maximum situational awareness. With the Symbiote, we sent along two separate arms that open up the possibility to have a slightly panoramic view if you choose to run two PBS-14s. This combination is one I rarely use, but it's one we thought important to include to make the Symbiote a one-stop shop. We are including, with each bridge, a bunch of very common dovetail adapters for multiple different units. Gone are the days of buying adapters separately from your bridge for your dual band system. Our goal was to include everything you need to get running with your optics. So in the box, we have pano arms, two J arms, a mini rail adapter, a dovetail for the ST6 or Sting IR, three height adjustment spacers, and three hex keys. All our polymer components are 3D printed in a carbon fiber reinforced nylon 12 material. This material is durable and rugged. You can freeze it or boil it and it maintains its properties. This isn't the cheap stuff that's going to melt in your car. All the hardware included is brass and stainless steel so you don't have to worry about rust and corrosion. First let's go over the J-arms. These are just like any standard J-arm that attach with a quarter 20 screw into any PVS-14, RNV-14, Tanto, anything like that. Next we have our mini rail adapter. This will go on your FLIR breaches or anything like that with a standard mini rail. The mini rail adapter comes with two different set screws depending on what type of mini rail you have. If your mini rail has the recess, you're going to want to use the longer 3 8 inch set screw. And if it's a flat top, you're going to want to use the quarter inch. This adapter goes on your RIX ST6 or your Sting IR. It uses a stainless steel 1032 screw and it's got a slot so there's some adjustment there forward and backward. Our bridge can be adjusted in the X, Y, and Z axis. To start, the dovetail receivers slide in and out to match your pupillary distance. All you have to do is move them to where you want them 
and tighten them down. We also offer this handy dandy little nut driver, just in case you have to adjust it a bunch for your buddies or something like that. If you're just doing it for yourself, you can set it and forget it, it's not a problem. Second, you can move the dovetails forward and backward to adjust for the difference in distance on your ocular lenses. I like to have the night vision on my left side and the thermal on my right. When you're mounting two dissimilar optics, you'll often have to adjust the dovetails forward and aft to make sure the ocular lenses line up. To do that, just take your eighth inch hex key, loosen these screws on the sliders, move them to where you want, and then tighten them back down. Be sure to check your manual for torque specs. To make a course adjustment, you can move the screw to any one of these three threaded holes. And to make a fine adjustment, you can move the slider inside the slot. If one of your ocular lenses is higher than the other, you can install one of our three separate shims over the dovetail receiver by removing the thumb nut and slipping it over the screw. The nice thing about our method of pupillary distance adjustment and height adjustment is that it's gonna keep all your rectangular thermal displays level and it's gonna make your recordings look real nice. For those of you interested in panoramic night vision, we've got an easy way to swap out these two arms to allow for an additional field of view. All you have to do is take your eighth inch hex key and remove these screws that hold the arms in place. Once you pop off your straight arms, you can install your panoramic arms right in the same holes. Make sure you got your pano arms on the right side. With the dovetail facing towards you, the pano arm should be angling away. Once you get your pano arms on, all you have to do is take the dovetail receivers off of your old arms and put them on the new ones. With the Symbiote, the possibilities are endless. One thing is certain, there's no other bridge on the market that can do everything the Symbiote can do. If you want to learn more about the Symbiote, simply jump over to our site and have a look around. If you're still overwhelmed with the options and choices that are to be made, shoot us an email, cs at arcane.com. We would love to help you get into the setup that will serve you best.